But unfortunately, on October 7th, it was the darkest day for my family. I lost my first cousin, Odaya, and her husband, Dolev, in a crossfire in Sederot in Israel. They were brutally murdered in front of their two daughters, six and three years old. Romy, the six-year-old, unfortunately, the war has children suffering on both ends. And hate breeds enmity, and hate breeds terrorism. And we must do everything in our power to stop this terrorism, once and for all. Enough of this terror and enough wars. For those, for those who don't know me, my name is Madhura Naik. I belong to the Bani Israeli community, popularly known as the Jews of Konkan. But of course, there are Jews of Cochin and the Menashe's. And you see, as Indian Jews, just like Indians, we are everywhere. We of course follow Judaism, but along with that, we also have adapted to Hindu traditions, thus proving that the Jews were always open to cross cultures and adapted very well in new environments. And now in Israel, we're famously known as the Hindus, the Indian Jews. My grandmother being the 14th child, 13 of her brothers and sisters moved back to Israel in the 70s, where they flourished back in their homeland along with their fellow Jews. It was more than just a sense of belonging. It was home for them. But unfortunately, on October 7th, it was the darkest day for my family. They were the victims of October 7th. I lost my first cousin, Odaya, and her husband, Dolev, in a crossfire in Sederot in Israel. They were brutally murdered in front of their two daughters, six and three years old. Romy, the six-year-old, the last words before getting rescued by the Israeli police, she said, are you the Israeli police? Please save the kid next to me. Imagine a six-year-old having to experience the murder of her very own mother and her father, and still being aware that she had to save the three-year-old baby next to her baby Leah. They were rescued by the Israeli police amidst a brutal crossfire that went on for a couple of hours. An Israeli policeman was brutally injured during this rescue. The children were drenched in the blood of their own parents. This incident tore my family apart and there are things that we could never change and things that we'll never be able to replace. Also during this crossfire, an Arab Muslim man named Amr Abu Samila tried to save my sister and the kids to drive them out of this crossfire. But to his fate, they killed him too. Regardless of his religion, his race, and that he was very much one of them, an Arab Muslim man. So their terror knows no religion, or race, or gender, nor age. Does the world, does the world forget the plight of our children? We know that Kafir, only nine months old, and Ariel, five years now, the Bibas brothers, are still under captivity, after a whole year. And yet some part of the world was tearing their flyers and rage and hate both sides, our children, their children, the children of the Middle East. Some of them, they have struggled since birth, experienced their lives under fire and sirens, and now two of them under captivity. And how is this fair? 
We were supposed to protect our children, to give them a better future, to give them their best lives. And what happened? They now live under constant fear and threat of losing their lives. And we under constant pressure of protecting them. As far as I have seen in this long one year of struggle and war, hate breeds hatred, and hate breeds enmity, and hate breeds terrorism. And we must do everything in our power to stop this terrorism once and for all. Enough of this terror and enough wars. A few days back was Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. And what we do in Rosh Hashanah is we dip apples in honey, both being sweet. Apple sweet, honey sweeter. But there is a difference. The honey comes from a bee that stings. The sting is very painful. But this pain ends with sweetness. And why I use Rosh Hashanah as a metaphor is to wish and hope and pray that just like we're experiencing the hardest and the most painful and the worst days in Israel, being stung from every corner, from Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah, Houthis, all corners of the Middle East, hopefully this war will end in sweetness. That we accomplish our goals to end the terror, breed compassion for each other, love for each other, tolerance and support, and walk hand in hand towards a better Middle East and a better world. The children of Israel, after all, we are and always will be a part of the Middle East. We are not going anywhere. So let's pray that the world learns to accept us, be tolerant towards Israel and the Jewish people, Let's hope that the children of the Middle East unite and may the children of the Middle East rise together. Amen and Jai Hind. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.